Ndi fake to me to na na kwada. Yes, Mr. Governor, you now talk to us. You cannot. Tell me, Mr. Solution. The solution is a. Yes. Um, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Honorable Commissioner and Special Advisor, the Commissioners here present, our government officials, our um, service chiefs uh, here. MB and uh, and uh, your colleagues, uh, the uh, naval, um, huh? Alada, civil, no, no, not, not civil defense, yes, and then of course, uh, 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 okay, wonderful, you are all welcome, you are all welcome. I um, today. It's a very important day. Today is a very special day. Here in our nation, we have come to commission the anti touting special squad. And this anti touting squad will operate largely what I would call around the greater our nation area and systematically also will cover the entire state. It's a very special day because today we have come to begin a very powerful journey, if you like, an acceleration. We've been getting on to that. Since we are Zoomed office, we've been doing this. But we have come now to make a very important acceleration on our key promise to the people living in the greater Onisha area and the people of Anambra state. And that is to restore this state back to being a state known for law and order. A state known for law and order. And for the greater Onisha area, yes, law and order, law and order. As you are aware, when we assumed office, our eight local governments were totally taken over by the hoodlums. Thanks to the combined efforts of our security agencies, our security forces, including the, um, the vigilante service, and of course, the army, the police, civil defense, the uh, navy, um, intelligence unit, the DSS, and so on and like I said, the, uh, including our, our vigilante uh, services. Their combined efforts and together with the support of the citizens. Because I must commend all of you. If you see something, say, say something. something. If you see something, say you say something. something. You have been cooperating relatively. And today I think everyone agrees that these local eight local governments have been liberated and Anambra is getting much, much more peaceful. Of course, the remnants, the remnants are still there because like we said at the beginning, these people are not into anything else. Forget anything anybody says, whether it's doing agitation or whatever. It's just plain criminality. They get into criminality, they get into kidnapping, they kidnap for ransom because they make money out of it but we are determined to read them out of this state. For the youths, we are asking you, come out, of your, come out of your hiding. Get out of the bushes. Human beings don't live in the bush. Only animals live in the bush. Get out of the bush. We will help to rehabilitate you and get you integrated back into society to become useful citizens so that you can be useful to your family useful to your community useful to the state and useful to the nation useful to humanity come out human beings don't live in the bush now while we are dealing with that at that larger scale 
that is the specific one about Towton. Towton. You know? Here in Opiweka, in and around, whether you are heading to Ochanja, or you are heading through Oweri Road, or you are going to Oka, or going back to the Head Bridge, or then in the various markets in and around, five local governments contiguous, Onesha North, Onesha South, Obaru, um, uh, Idemile North, and Oyi. These five local government contiguous in and around these places, you find towns all over the place. When I was campaigning, this was one major request that the people living within this axis were requesting of me. They asked, please, even if you don't do anything else for us, get the towns out. Was that the truth? Yes. We've been getting them, arresting them in hundreds, but the more you arrest them, the more they even come back. As you're arresting them, they are coming back. But we want to assure them that the days are numbered. When we catch you now, we will catch you again. Um, I wish you good luck. I wish you good luck. Good luck. Okay? We wish you the good luck. And I want to say to you, to the people of Anambra, this is going to be, it's not just going to be a fight, it's going to be a war. It's going to be a war. Because when you come in an environment where lawlessness has become culture, trying to restore law and order is always a very difficult one. Very difficult one. Now we are trying to, we have brought back the traffic agencies back to begin to control the way people drive and so on. That there is something like one way, you don't go through one way. There is something like, and, we are, and I want to say this, and people start complaining. Oh, why are they? Why did they arrest me? And uh, this one way, what is one way? You come and see a queue, vehicles lined in a queue. You will not queue up. What you do is to bypass, because those ones in the queue must be stupid. You go and run one way, and then when they catch you, so I say, ah, these people are, uh, why are they, they should have left you. Because I look out for um, violence to those who may have been victims of this undue uh, exercise of violence. But we must never forget that we are trying to deal with a problem. There will always be some occasional collateral damages here and there. That is what you find in a war front when you are at war. We are fighting a war to bring back the soul of our society. A society that is governed by law and uh, order. A society that is governed by law and order. Not a society where house, where everything goes. Everybody writes the rules and everybody does as he wants. No society in the world can thrive that way. An example of how we have gone badly is the decline and almost that Onisha died. When the Honorable Commissioner was speaking, he talked about the time and days when you used to find long convoys of vehicles who have come, I mean, that have come here to buy, to shop. Onisha was the place to be, the largest market in West Africa. But we seem to have lost much of the glory because thousands and criminals will not let people come and shop in peace. Yeah. Because thousands, 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 thousands everywhere, they will not allow people to come and shop and go home in peace. And today we are beginning that journey. That journey is a journey to rescue Onisha. It's not just to rescue Onisha, but to rescue Anambra State as a commercial hub of this West African sub-region. And an important element of that, 
beside all the roads that we're doing all around the place, trying to breathe back life into it, beside trying to desail it and get runoff water again, going back into the River Niger, instead of drowning people every year, beside, like I said, fixing the basic infrastructure, besides ensuring that those who are sick will find a place to go to, the entire Oneshasao, the entire Awaru, never had any hospital. We are building general hospitals in those places now. While we are rebuilding all of this, and then of course our children, the poorest of the poor people, now can have access to free medical services. Our pregnant women can now go and have free antenatal and free delivery in all public hospitals. And our public schools that died, completely died, we are determined, very intentional, about resurrecting our public schools to become the models. They are going to become models. And we are going to invest heavily in them so that the children of the poor, especially the poorest of the poor, who are condemned to the public schools, will also have the best, the most qualitative education that is available. In their now, all of these services we are providing without asking anybody, where do you come from? We're not asking you your state, whether you come from the moon or whether you come from the stars. Whether you come from Nigeria, you come from anywhere else. All we're asking you is to enjoy our facilities, but live here in peace. Live us in peace. If you visit us, if you come, whether you are Onya Namura or not, live here in and let us prosper. The reason why many people who are not indigents of the state flock to Anambra is because it's a land of prosperity. Isn't it? It is a place to make money. But then when you come and you scare people away from coming to shop here, from coming to trade, this is a hub. For a lot of commodities like fish and so on and so forth, Onisha is the capital in West Africa. But if you scare people away, then this prosperity leaves us. Everybody gets impoverished. No. So, what we are saying today to both Ndia Nambra and Ndia Bro, the uh, non Anambra, uh, if you like, residents is to please, we have an agenda. One state, one people, one agenda. We don't care where you come from. But, if you are here, you must live here in peace. Abide by the rules. I know as we are here, some people around there, you know, some people around here, you know, smiling around. Some are looking for somebody's phone to pick or uh, something around. I told them when I was there at up the other side of Opie Waker from uh, Ochanja. I told them that there's some of you there looking at me now, maybe looking at somebody's phone and looking for somebody's phone to take. Uh, you know, not anymore. And for this to work, we're going to read this whole place, all these places, uh, Head Bridge area, Weary Road, Getting to Mpo, you know, even to Moji or uh, Gidi, then down to um, Mkwele and all those axes, and down to the Onisha, north and Onisha south. Numbers will be made public very shortly. Numbers will be made public very shortly. That if you see any doubt, if you know any doubt, if you know somebody who is living around you and you don't know what that person is doing for a living, you call the number, we'll come and pick him up. Yes. 
if you have anybody you don't know what he's doing where does he live what does he do call us call the security agencies we'll come and pick him up he will tell us where what he does if you are in Anambra, you must have something doing. If you don't have something doing, but please do what? Leave. And the market leaders, the president of Asmata, where is he? Okay. Onwan, I have not seen the leaders of the various markets who are supposed to be here today. Because they have a tenure, and that tenure will be all of you, from your own team to the tenure of all those market leaders who end a match. Wait. They will end the match? I've told my uh, even the TC chairman, this is a war. It is a war. Renewing it from April 1 will depend on the successes we make with regards to this war. From April 1, whether it will be renewed or not renewed will depend on the success that we make in this war. Any market where house operates, any market... No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry, I am coming to the markets myself. I will come. I'll come to the markets. I'll come to the markets. I have said it that part of our response, because the motto of our political party is leave no one behind. Be your brothers and sisters keeper. Okay? 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 And so I had announced as part of the palliatives and also central to the manifesto and the programs of Afghan. That we should not collect anything from all these hawkers, uh, petty traders. You go to somebody who has this uh, small table, wheelbarrow, vulcanizers, and all of these people who said we should stop collecting anything from them. I wanted them to hear me because each market will now be responsible yes. this these people they are there they will be here they will be in all places stationed but each market leadership will now take responsibility if there is any thousand in main market the leadership there will go down if there is thousand in our China the leadership there will go down that is it that's that's no if and but about it Eba. And uh, our chat, you guys, I think this message, you're going to have meeting, you're going to call all your people from assistant to whatever, for each market, all the executives must attend that meeting and write the attendance, I want to see the attendance from each market, so that this message is passed down to them. They know that they are working day by day, each day they go. The day this touting or collection of all these things from these innocent, helpless and heartless people, people come there to shop and all you end, he buys something from there. Even to go to the vehicle, you know, somebody stops him to collect. Then he goes to collect, somebody stops him to collect. There are several people issuing receipts and issuing all kinds of stuff. And the ones that they receipted and non receipted all this must stop. <laughs> All this, All this must stop. 
and anybody anybody who is stopping anybody and collecting asking you to pay the, and that whatever and so on and so forth of course the revenue agencies are there but the revenue agencies know where they operate not in the markets okay when they get to the markets it is the shop owners not those who have come to shop nobody should harass anybody who comes to shop Because if once they continue to harass these people, then people stop coming to Anisha to buy. MCC. Never. With that junction, MCC. Niger Street. Ochanjabida. Ochanjabida. Huh? Electrical. Okay. Don't worry. Don't bother. I think they are hearing you. They are hearing you. We are going to. The first thing is that all these markets, they have got their own security thing. Their primary job now is to turn all those security to make sure that nobody harasses anybody who comes to shop in their market. That will be their job. Not to use those markets to uh, collect anything. Not to use the markets to collect anything. You know? Anambra must be good. Anambra is a blessed land. We are the light of the nation and we cannot be uh, renegades and anything. We cannot be a lawless society. We cannot be a lawless place. So, for those for whom touting, going out in the morning, I know many people, I am told many people flock to Anambra to go and hustle. Eh? Go to Anambra to hustle. When they be a hustle, you will find something to do. Hustling doesn't mean stealing from others. We don't do that. If you come to Anambra, if you have nothing else to do, learn a skill. We have our one youth, two skills. Some have finished and we will be having their graduation, I think, either Friday or Saturday. Okay? This week. Friday. We will be having their graduation ceremony on Friday this week. Okay? And when they finish graduating, we will find them something to do. We will find them something to do. So come. We we'll train you and we'll get you something. And in any case, there is now a law, a draft law that is before the State House of Assembly. And when that law is passed, anti-Tauten, and all of this, Tauten, from now till the law is passed, when they get you, sorry for you, but <laughs> when it is finished passing it, when they get you, you are going straight into jail lock you up there and forget you because you are a nuisance to society you know we can't have this we can't have this kind of place i remember on each of those days i used to come on holiday here you could walk everywhere walk even in the midnight and so on nightlife will come back to anisha fully nightlife will come back to anisha fully because this team this team that we find here they will be patrolling 24 hours together with the armed forces together with the police the area commander huh? we are going to discuss with the cp and yourself and the, all the area commands and the um, and the uh, the divisional police of um, around here in and around that we have to have this 24-hour surveillance, patrols, everywhere. And we have numbers that they call and there should be rapid response. So that citizens can move about 24 hours, 24 by